Well, Himalayan Echoes uh, 2024 is all about uh, being an amalgamation of arts and, of course, of culture. Uh, apart from, of course, uh, literary greats who are speaking on the stage, um, we are seeing over here some beautiful, uh, you know, creations, of course, paintings of uh, a local artist from here, Kanika. And the brand is, of course, called Kaljune. Could we have you here, Kanika? Uh, she's, of course, the artist behind these creations. I can already see some sold signs there. So that's great. Obviously, uh, people are coming in from all over the country and liking her work. Uh, so welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, tell us about, a bit about, you know, uh, when the journey of yours started to become an artist so and where you're from. I'm from uh, Nenital, born and brought up here. And my mother is a Pahari mm -hmm. and uh, I have uh, always been associated with hills for a very long time. And uh, nature, mountains, birds, animals, you know, this is my life. I, if, if I don't find them around, I feel like it's dead. I cannot live in these concrete buildings. For me, this freedom, these walks and everything are great inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I have been painting since my childhood. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been in copy artists, you know, making little cartoons and things like that. But uh, I've been, I'm, in, I'm a self-taught artist. I've uh, done um, a lot of work on birds initially. Uh, especially on the conservation side, because that time there was no one speaking about the uh, birds' conservation. So I started like that, and again, after a few years, I'm getting back to my painting again. You know, I'm sure it, you must have done uh, uh, showcased your work elsewhere, yeah. but how does it feel to be back in Anital and, you know, showcasing it here to people here who've come from all over? I think this is more wonderful. <coughs> this feels home and the love and warmth I'm getting here. I feel so good and I want to make a difference in my own town. I want to start from my own town and I want to work for a cause as well. So one of my paintings also speak about... Uh, uh, you know, the global warming, the forest fires, mm -hmm. and how our glaciers are getting mm -hmm. affected. You know, people are talking about rivers, yeah, yeah. yeah, especially this one, and this was very spontaneous. This thought has been there in my mind for a very long time, and it's been playing up. So, you know, this is my expression. This is how I would, I, I can't write, mm -hmm. but I can uh, talk with colors. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, this is what I'm talking yeah. here. Here's another beautiful one. Yeah, here's another work which you see when you're driving through the mountains and sometimes the mountainscapes open up for you and you see these beautiful Himalayas behind these laps of mountains. So I, re I, I always stop and, uh, you know, look at them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, come, we'll just show a couple more. Yeah, uh, sure. Viewers, uh, of this, uh, very, you know, yeah. small miniatures as well. Uh, and uh, we can see a lot of mountains. Yeah. You there is one tiger as oh, well. Tiger so as well. Yeah, of these are all... But, but just, you know, talking, mm -hmm. of course, about these mountains and... I'll request my vigilantist Dinesh to just show how many different types of mountains, you know, Kanika has captured. S uh, you know, this is amazing because, you know, normally some people, when they think of mountains, they only think of one picture. Yeah. But you've picturized it in so many different ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and these are all, this is one whole range, actually. And I've taken bits of all that range and I have tried to uh, make them concise. Yeah. Also, it is easy for people to carry a memento from here. Yeah. So I didn't, I wanted a mix of big paintings and smaller ones. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Final question to you. Uh, would you like more artists to come, come out from this region? Uh, are, you, are you encouraging others as well, the youth, the students as well, to take to the arts as well? Absolutely. And I have worked with children before. I'm an art therapist as well. And I think what art can do, in a way, it can really touch your subconscious. And I really want youngsters to come. I would love to work with them and collaborate as well. So, yeah. Great. I would Thank definitely you. want to. Thank you very much. So uh, clearly, of course, uh, we are seeing a lovely art over here, of course, as well at the festival. Uh, and uh, uh, truly, of course, uh, people over here uh, feel more connected with nature and they feel like expressing themselves uh, through their paintings, as we've seen on issues, of course, but also on the natural habitat over here in this uh, beautiful Himalayan region. With journalist Dinesh Thakur Udair Pratap Singh in Anital for NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.